Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to some more adventures with SnowRunners Hard Mode. When we last left off in our previous episode, episode, we nearly destroyed our Chevrolet pickup truck. Since then, in between episodes, I took the Fleet Star, which you can see kind of in the murky evening uh, light here. Well, I took the Fleet Star from uh, the Black River area, brought it up here to Smithfield Dam, and I towed with it the repair trailer. So we can start out this episode here by repairing fully the Chevrolet here, which will bring it back up to full speed. However, one of the things that we apparently can't do, QMC left a post for us, or GMC left a post for us, a comment on the previous episode said, apparently you can't fix the headlights unless you get a full repair at the garage. So our Chevrolet, which broke its headlights in the previous episode, might be only a day-only vehicle for a while because I'm not paying for a full repair yet. So the next question is, what do we do? Well, I would like to take this... A trailer here the repair trailer all the way down to the black river dam which is over here because that's where the resupply point is but i don't think we have enough gas for that yet so what i want to do right now is uh, unhitch the fleet star here now to what we've got so we're going to detach trailer leave that there and then we're going to get going here i'm going to drive back over there is a uh, gas trailer uh, down in the middle of the town let's go all right oops i know what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. I just played Euro Truck Simulator 2 a little while ago, and I was actually uh, pressing the gas pedals on the Euro Truck Simulator 2 thing. Let's get our lights on. There we go. That's a little better. So let's take our Fleet Star, and I do have the Fleet Star loaded up with consumables here too, but I'm going to run over and pick up one of those gas trailers that's down in Black River, and then come back, leave it here so we'll have some gas to operate out of here. Now, I know there is a gas station right as we come into the left, but I want to get free gas. So I want to drain that one more of those tanks by bringing it over here. So we'll see you then. And then if we're going to go there, we're going to take the Chevrolet and explore more. What could possibly go wrong? And if we're lucky, I think I might want to take these consumables in the Fleet Star and try to run them down to the drilling station. That's a job we can do with this. Maybe even ending this up with pulling the repair trailer back to Black River so we can go get the uh, Kodiak truck. Because I would like to get that truck out of the marsh and fully repair it. That would give us another very valuable truck. And yeah, we went the wrong way here, didn't we? Okay, well, anyway, that's what I get for not paying attention. Anyway, you get the idea. We got a lot of stuff to do, and we're going to get busy doing it. So we'll see you in a couple minutes once we get things, once we get the gas trailer and get it back out here. All right, so we're back in Black River. We picked up the fuel trailer, and I had been thinking, I, we had, it's kind of dumb. We had the consumables all the way over there. I probably could have just dumped them out of the truck back in uh, Smithfield Dam and picked up some steel beams and brought them with us or something like that, or something else we thought we could have used in Smithfield Dam, but wasn't thinking. But anyway, we're back on our way now. Oops. I almost drove into the pond. <laughs> nice. We are back. We've bought fuel. We've brought fuel. We've got the repair trailer. We've got a little station here. Now, actually, on the gas here, I think there's only about 1,100 gallons left in this uh, tanker. So we've actually burned through quite a bit of it. It might not have been the, the best uh, strategy move here. But let's uh, refuel... There we go. So we got yeah, a little over a thousand gallons left in this fuel trailer, but our Chevrolet now is all fixed up, except I don't think, yeah, so the headlights don't work. I'm trying the headlights button. Horn works, that's good, but the headlights do not work, so we won't hit anything. So right now, I think it's about three in the morning. Let's take it in and see if we can buy a snorkel for this thing, because that's what started causing us the problems last time when we went in that water and uh, kind of destroyed about half the engine's power here. So customize, we've got $12,000. Let's see what we've got here. Diff snorkel. There we go. How much is this? 2300 for a snorkel. Tall mushroom. That's the only one we can get. Purchase. Yes. Excellent. So I think that's going to help us a lot. I don't think there's anything else we can get now. Let's just let's take a quick look and then we'll go from there. So we do have a better uh, gearbox. I think let's try that. It's going to cost us a little bit on fuel efficiency. Look at this truck. It is so beat up. I'm tempted to fix it all the way, but I don't want to spend the money for it. So and I think we did have another option. We could get a thoroughly reworked variant of an outdated engine, increased power outage output at a cost of reliability. Yeah, I don't think we want that. Physical damage tends to make it lose power and consume more fuel much sooner. Based on our last episode, I feel like that's a bad idea. Let's uh, keep our full powered engine here. And I think with that, we are all set to leave the garage. Let's get out of here. Oh, now it's daytime too. What, what, uh, what time is it here? Six o'clock in the morning, perfect. That, that couldn't have been timed better. Because now we can drive. We don't have any headlights, so <laughs> we'll just go without them. It's kind of like the Soviet Union back in the 1990s and stuff when you'd go there and they just never used their headlights because you could never get them replaced. So they just didn't turn them on, which I guess makes sense. 
in some ways. But anyway, uh, let's go around this trailer and we are going to go down. Let's take a quick look at what we're going to do here. Alrighty, so we've plotted our road. I'm going to take it actually through the farm, down this road here, cut across the water here, get the upgrade, get the search tower, then try to come back with what's left of our pickup truck. And uh, actually, I might just leave it out here for now. But uh, then we will get the Fleet Star down here, get the repair trailer fixed up. Then I might try to take the Fleet Star out here to the drilling site because there is a job we can do with those consumables that we have in the back. I'd like to kind of get that going. So yeah, places to go. Let's take the, the Chevrolet while the uh, the weather's good here. because <laughs> We can't drive at night with it. So we'll kind of head off down here, see how this all goes. I'm hoping that we don't have as much damage with the Chevrolet as we did in the last episode. That was um, pretty epic, but we are improved, right? We've got a new and improved Chevrolet now. We've got the snorkel and we know the roads a little bit more too. So hopefully it won't be as <laughs> catastrophically demolition derby type episode as we had last time. And we kind of know the area a little bit better now too. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm not sure on our fuel efficiency either. We're burning gas pretty fast here. Ah, okay, so this is the farm. We can get consumables here. So we didn't need to bring the consumables over from Black River here on the Fleet Star. That was dumb. We could just pick them up here. Ah, okay. Our whole cargo management strategy and the efficiency of doing things, not the best here. I mean, I guess it does save us taking the Fleet Star to the farm, which could be some wet wheeling, but we could have probably used the consumables someplace else back on Black River instead. Oh well, live and learn. There'd be a lot of mistakes we make like this. Again, this is the first time I've played it and we are in new territory now too here. And we've never driven on this road before. This is kind of muddy here. Winch connected, but so far so good. We'll make our way down the road some more. Whoa, oh, I went off in the wrong direction. So this is a logging station out here. I don't know quite where we can get there, but this is that wet part here that we have to try to get through. Uh. This looks kind of wet. Well, we got to start going through stuff like this. So let's try it on the side here, see if we do okay. We got our snorkel now. Look at that. <laughs> snorkel powered, no problems. That's good. I think that would have given us trouble last time. We would have got that dangerous water level warning. Let's not hit these rocks here. Why do they grow trees in the middle of the road? Okay, that wasn't bad actually. Maybe, no, I was gonna say, I was thinking about saying maybe we're getting better, but I don't want to say that because I feel like that's the surest way to have us just rack up massive damage on our car or vehicle, whatever we're driving. This is kind of wet wheeling in here though. Let's think about this for a second. Oh, is that the upgrade? No, it's not, it's further down. I don't see anything we can really winch it onto, but we got to get through this. So let's go over to the side here. Hopefully we don't tip over. Whoa, that's pretty wet. Oh, we can winch to the stump. Nice. Okay. So far, so good. Snorkel was a good move, wasn't it? Just got to get through this little muddy spot and we're making progress. Let's go. Let's keep going. Winch it over there. Okay. Yep. Do that. Let's go right down into the water because we got the snorkel and we got this upgrade. Yes, come on, let's get there. Winch connected. Let's get in here. Get upgrade. What do we got? Not available for current truck. Thanks to everybody who showed me the tip for show truck list. International Transtar 4070A. We don't even have that truck, but that's okay. We'll take that upgrade. Hint, hint. Does that mean that that truck is perhaps available on this map? I think. Actually, I'm not sure if there is a truck available on this map, but. Wow, this is some mud in here that we have, um, we're running out of gas here too. Nothing in front of us to winch to. Get that sideways and get it going. There we go. Now we got it. Let's go, let's get out of here. We are not getting stuck here. There's no way we could save this if we get stuck here. There we go. Come on, wild truck, you can make it. Some heavy mud there, and we are out. Excellent. Good. Nice. Oh my god, more up here too. This was a tough way to go. We are below halfway fuel, and we are not even all the way there, but 
Yeah, I think actually I'm going to go this way. No, 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 no. Oh, that's bad. This truck is so awesome. We going the right way? We are going the right way. Okay. So our, our Chevy is right here. <laughs> which means, and we only have 29 liters of gas left. Well, 34% of the gas. I mean, we burned a lot of it to get up here, but in this drive is going to be easier, but I don't think we can make it all the way back to the garage if we extend our trip to go out to the tower here. So yeah, I think we have to turn back. It's, we're just not going to make it. And I don't want to run out of gas way out here on this road because I don't know if the Fleet Star, the Fleet Star certainly can't this, the Fleet Star might be able to make it, but I don't know if the Fleet Star can make it with the gas tank attached to it, the pull in the trailer. And I'd like to not have to do that if I have to. So, I wonder if that uh, gearbox is creating kinds of problems for us. Maybe we don't need all those low gears. I think we can probably turn that one out. <sighs> We're almost back to the main road, but we've only got 18 liters of fuel left. So, that really chewed up the fuel. I want to go back and switch out that gearbox again. I think that's what's causing some of our fuel efficiency problems. Just not, oh, here we are again. Boy, we flipped over here, didn't we? Uh, but I think that if we can do this right, we're gonna make it this time. Nice, that's one of them. Still one to go here. But yeah, I think I want to switch that gearbox up. I think that's what's causing, or it certainly seems like we've had really bad fuel efficiency here. If we can make it back to the main road, we can pull the tanker down to this, which should be okay. So I'm not, not too worried about it. I, and we do want to bring the fuel star down by this, the fleet star down by this way anyway. No, 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 no. Winch, winch, winch. <laughs> Check it out. I know a lot of people are saying, uh, someone was telling me too that you want to get used to throwing your winch as you're tipping over. That's the fastest I could do that. I'm really bad at that. But I suppose, I think as we get reflexes designed for it later, probably get better at it. So that you, just as you're ready to tip over, you chuck your winch the other direction and it's all okay. Nine liters of gas left. We should make the main road, so I'm not too worried about it, but I'm, I don't think we're gonna make it all the way back. Once we get to the main road though, we can slip into a, um, rear wheel drive which should save quite a bit of gas so maybe we'll make it we'll get close five liters of gas left will we make it we just got to get up the hill three liters we <laughs> just made it we are gonna make it nice two liters and <laughs> no worries we made it all the way back okay there we go now we got it sorted I gotta mention you gotta change the target first and then we should be okay Fleet Star, let's fill it up. Fuel cartridge, perfect. Okay, everything's full now. Now let's uh, think what we wanna do. First thing is I wanna run the Chevy in there and take that gearbox out, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna stick the stock default gearbox back in. Now, one thing else in here too, there was uh, someone telling us we can sell like our old highway tires here. Can we sell that? Sell for 500, excellent. Yes, because we will not use those again. So let's get rid of that, perfect. So we sold it for 500 because we won't need that cash. I don't think there's anything else we want to sell yet. I'll check and then we'll be right back. Actually, yeah, I'm going to sell the stock Scout winch too because I don't think we need that. We got 500. I don't see us ever going away from that autonomous winch one. That's it. So we made $1,000 back with that. Okay, let's get back out and get busy doing stuff. All right, so I've hooked up the... I, I decided I want to go try to get the Kodiak. So I've hooked the Fleet Star up here to the repair trailer because we need parts for the repair trailer. We are going to take it down here, run it all the way out here to the resupply zone, resupply all the parts in the repair trailer, take it back and pull the Kodiak out. That's going to be our mission. I want to get another truck. I feel like that's a good idea. So off we go. 
Not the most efficient use of gas. Let's actually refill one more time if we can. Fuel caliber trailer, yep. All right, we're topped off. Off we go. Oh, that was bad. That, what happened? Just hit our wheel. Well, fortunately, we can fix it. <laughs> Boom, all fixed. Okay, uh, I want to chuck the consumables that are in the back here because eventually we're going to run these consumables down along this path out here to the drilling station. So I'm just going to toss them off before we run the repair trailer out to the resupply zone. Consumables dropped off. Off we go. Dam is right in front of us. This would be pretty cool out here. All right, this is pretty cool. Smithfield Dam, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's nice to be at the place that the dam is named at, that this area is named after. This is pretty cool. And this means most definitely picture time for sure. Pictures taken across the dam we go. This is actually pretty cool. That is something in a, a couple comments, a couple episodes ago, people were mentioning how striking the game is. And it is called SnowRunner, which is kind of funny because this is kind of just mainly mud here for us now. This is a pickup. Let's see what we can get here. I, what supplies can we pick up here? We probably want to grab something with us. Bricks, concrete slab, bricks. That's it. Okay. But we have a resupply zone. Where is it? Just around the corner. Let's see how this works. Never having done this before, this is kind of exciting. So we go around the corner, pick up the resupply stuff. Here it is, right here. And I think we can spend money and resupply our parts. Let's stop the engine. Oh, we have to have the engine going to resupply it. Uh, come on. X. So, resupply parts. Yes, A. So we want to do that. Okay, and then we want to resupply our wheels too, which is X, all of them. Good. And it is a brand new service trailer. Excellent. Now we can go rescue the Kodiak. Boy, that was a lot of gas probably. I'm not sure it was worth it really, to be totally honest, because <laughs> think about all the gas we spent trying to get this out there to save. I guess the gas is free to a degree that we have enough gas in this area and don't run out of it, but it probably would have made more sense to maybe just pony up and, well, it would have cost us 5000 though, and I'm curious how much money we have left now. So maybe it's not the smartest thing, but we did it. Oh, okay. Well, now we don't have a perfect resupply truck. <laughs> Let's get the lights on. It's getting dark. Let's see what this job entails down here. I probably should have picked something up. But I don't, oh, wait a second, hang on. Yeah, because we should probably take something with us from here. Let's just, I'm going to think for a second. So the farm here for this task called the essentials, the farm needs bricks. So we should get bricks back here at the station because we can get them. Then on the way back, we can leave our repair trailer here. Just scurry on over with the um, Fleet Star, drop our bricks off there and get started on that one. So I think that makes the most sense. Let's go pick up bricks. So, and while we're here, let's see what this needs. Show task. Smithville Brib discovered, accept it. What do we need? Wooden planks. Okay. Do we have to get... Where can we get wooden planks on this map? Can we get wooden planks on this map? Ah, okay. Some of these are like little puzzles, right? Start tracking. Can we get wooden planks somewhere out here? Or do we have to go all the way back? Ah, oh, that would have been so smart to carry wooden planks out here. Gosh, we could have just done that right away and opened up Smithville Bridge. Okay, that's a bummer because we brought all those consumables out that we could have gotten at the farm. That was dumb, but oh well, we didn't know. So what can you do? But yeah, we got to bring wooden planks all the way, wooden planks all the way back out here. Just two of them. We could have finished it right away. Ah, anyway, such is life. All right, let's get our bricks loaded up here, and we will toss these in. Once we get these loaded up, we will be all set to go. Beautiful packing job. There we go. Crane mode. Let's restore the crane. And we are all set to go. Good. So let's head out. So we'll get the uh, repair trailer hooked up and we'll start heading back to uh, the uh, Black River, hopefully. Well, we got to drop the bricks off too. We got a lot of things to do. We're actually making somewhat progress here. Though I don't feel like we're doing any jobs and we're not making any money and we're not getting any experience points. It kind of feels like, yeah, we're not really doing that much, but we kind of. I guess it's kind of a learning process here. It's just sluggish when you uh, haven't done stuff before. All right, heavy load, bricks and a repair trailer, all all stocked up and full, 100% filled back up. We are heading back off. Kicking myself. I wish we brought wooden planks out here. 
Okay, I'm I'm feeling like this might be a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm not sure I can get the Fleet Star down along this out to the farm here, but we're gonna try it and see how it goes. Hopefully it will go okay. I think if we stay close to these rocks and stuff, even though it's gonna be bumpy, I think we're gonna be okay. If we stay out of the wet stuff on the side there, the winch there, pull. We'll see how this goes. Geez, so far, this is not bad. We got these trees we can winch to as well. These uh, rocks are not doing us any favors, though. There we go. I don't know what we got stuck on there. What the heck? Oh, this is getting bad. We gotta make it. Come on. I'm trying to see if I can go backwards now. Let's get off of this. Whatever it is. I don't know what we're stuck on here. What are we stuck on or in? Over here. Ah, oh, we're stuck to our wheel hubs again. Oh, I think we made progress. Swing to the other side here. Maybe we're okay. Oh, that'd be so sweet if we could get out of here. Oh, we're just out of the reach of that tree. Oh, look at that. We just connected to that tree. I think that saved us. Get just up here. I don't know how we're going to get out of here, but I think we might have made it can just get past this little muddy spot and straight down here. Let's let that winch go. Come on, keep going. We got this. Let's get through this. Oh, I can't believe we made it so far anyway. That was not the right way to get here. We burned like 80 liters of gas getting here. <laughs> okay, now we get to get to the farm, which is still a little bit of muddy wheeling. It's harder at night for sure, isn't it? because you can't see, which makes all kinds of sense, I suppose, but like things that you just don't identify how muddy they are until it's too late. So here we should be able to drop our bricks off, Let's stay out of that mud. There we go, unload. Perfect, okay, so one third of the task we need for that. Now we gotta see how we can get out of here, which could be just as adventurous as getting in was. We're stuck already. All right, we get out of there. Let's turn around and get out of here. Yes, we should have picked up consumables. I'm gonna go back and get them. All right, so I will um, throw these consumables into the back here, and then we will back on our way, because we can take the consumables from here back to the uh, middle of Black River as we're running by with the repair truck to go down and get the Kodiak. All righty. <laughs> okay, consumables loaded up, and we will take them back to Black River, and hopefully we're not gonna get stuck in the mud here. Okay, there we go. Ha, ah, it's taking forever. Just to travel this little bit. We really need better tars, tires for the Fleet Star. That's really going to be our number one goal. This stuff's, I think, is going to be tricky with, with these stock tires on the Fleet Star here. So to try to get out of here, I think I'm going to go through the woods rather than through the wet middle or through the way we just came. That was kind of hard with this Fleet Star. So let's see what the woods offers up here in terms of getting us out of here. This could be a mistake, but I think... I think with all the trees we can winch to, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit easier than the way we came. So we're going to try over here on the left. Can't make it through that. Let's try this way. I feel like this could be a bad idea. All right, got the winch on the back now. I think we can pull forward here. Get away from the puddle. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Gotta get out of here. Let's go. We can winch onto that. There we go. Let's go. Pull us out. Oh, come on, truck. Yes. Oh, that was easy. Okay. That was hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Forgot the repair trailer. I gotta go back and get it. Alrighty, trailer reattached. Off we go again. And we're out there all night driving around, but hopefully this will be worth it when we get the Kodiak working. I, I don't think this actually, you know, I really, when I think about this, I'm not sure this made much. Wait, do we want, yeah, we wanna go this way. I'm not sure it made much sense, to be totally honest, because I bet we burned a thousand liters of gas trying to get this. 
repair truck out there. So the difference probably in just paying a full price to get the Kodiak repaired and just pulling it back maybe to the garage and then repairing it was probably cheaper than trying to do this with the repair trailer. Maybe if we were more efficient and we did better, we could have done it. But anyway, you live and you learn. Hopefully we have enough gas to get back here. We're not going very fast. We got a heavy load, I guess. Refuel, fill her up. Most excellent. Only 700 gallons left in that thing. We have to turn it, we have to turn it in what, there's 20, 10% left so we can take it down to 200 gallons, right? And then we should turn it in for its mission thing. So yeah, we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do for gas in this map here. I feel like we need maybe to take a gas trailer with us for the for some of the trucks here to extend our distance. Especially on that Chevy, like we didn't get out and we weren't able to do everything with the Chevy because we ran out of gas. And then you have to spend gas to come back. So I think it makes sense to get one of those little gas trailers. I think someone left a comment and said there is one out here somewhere. So that kind of makes sense that we would want to explore more of this area to get the gas trailer. Because then it would increase our range a little bit. That would be very helpful. Alrighty, back to Black River. <clears throat> Let's go get that Kodiak. Now I know I tried to do this last time where I tried to go across that shortcut straight here down in it. We're not doing it. Not with the Fleet Star, with the regular truck, with the regular tires. We're going all the way around. Wow, that sign went flying. I'm not sure why. I didn't hit it, <clears throat> for sure. Here we are in Black River. I want to... We can't go that way because we can't get across the river here. So we got to go around to get to the Kodiak, which is way over here. So our plan will be to go drop the consumables off here at the missing missing uh, Steel River Supplies mission. Someone did say, I thought you had to do them in order. Like, I thought we had to drop the fuel trailer off first then the consumables, but someone said it doesn't matter. You can drop the consumables off at, in any order. So I think we'll go drop those off, then probably pick up something that we can take and might need out here. Not quite sure what that would be. Then come down here, get gas on the way, pull the Kodiak out, repair the Kodiak, and we have a new truck, and that's where we're going to end this mission. All right, let's get busy. All righty, so Steel River Supplies is delivered to the town storage. These items, the fuel carrier trailer, which we have taken out to... Uh, Smithville, Smithville Dam and we'll bring back at some point. But supposedly, I thought you had to deliver these in order. But let's see if we can drop off these consumables here. Cargo management. Oh, we can. Nice. One, two. Done. Excellent. Good. Do we want to pick up anything? Oh, that's unloading. Hang on one second. I'll just figure out what we're going to grab here too. Yeah, so here at town, we can pick up metal beams and they do need for Pipe Dream out here, way back over here by this factory. They need the metal beams so we'll take them and then we'll just kind of drop them by the road here and we'll come pick them up later and run them out for that that mission when we're doing that too so that'll make sense so let's get some metal beams and throw those in here all righty so we are all loaded up we've got our fully repair spy we got some metal beams for the factory on the other side of the map we've got enough gas to get to the gas station i think on the other side of the bridge and we've just got a nice long relaxing drive to get out there so We'll see you as we get closer to our turnoff points here. So we are at the gas station heading out. We've made it on the other side of the map. Pretty easy drive. And I drove almost the entire way with the all-wheel drive off. You consume so much less fuel that way. It's just remarkable. We've only consumed 80 liters since we left Smithville Dam to get all the way out here, which is pretty good. Let's fill up here now at this thing here, fuel tanker. Good. Yep. Perfect. We got 4,500 gallons of fuel in that thing. I'm tempted to take one of those small trailers, the fuel tankers, fill that up, run that out to Smithville Dam, transfer all the fuel from the big tanker. Yeah, transfer the fuel from the big tanker to that tanker. See if we can move some of it. Because there's so much gas in that big one. 5,000. We only have to leave 500 in it. That's a massive source of fuel there. I unpack the steel beams here. We're just going to take them and drop them by the side of the road. We'll pick them up when we go back out to get that, um, pick up the mission way out at the factory there. Let's lift this up. Here we go. Just want to drop these right. Pew. There we go. Bunch of steel beams off the side of the road. We'll restore our crane. Now let's go see if we can go down the hill here and see if we can rescue the Kodiak, which is kind of what we wanted to do the whole time. I can say too, after driving out on Smithville Dam, I thought like these roads were hard. These roads have gotten a lot easier because the Smithville Dam roads are wetter, harder, more challenging than they are here. I really feel like we need to get our Fleet Star tires upgraded though. 
which means I think in upcoming episodes, we kind of need to concentrate on completing missions and getting experience so we can get the level eight to get those good tires for the Fleet Star, or at least level six, I think is where the next tires are. Catch the trailer here. So we will leave the repair truck here. We'll pull it back out. So the idea is to pull the Kodiak out to this before we can get it. So that should be good. It should be right out here somewhere, right? There it is. Right there, perfect. Dangerous water level, let's turn that off. Turn that off and turn on the, I don't think we can turn on the engine. Engine's broken, yeah, here we go. All right, so can we pull it and go forward? Go forward, pull. Nice, I think we got this. Yeah, this Kodiak is ours. All right, we're getting the Kodiak going here. We're making progress. Now we just gotta get over to the repair truck and we should have a brand new truck by the time we get there. Well, except for all the body damage, but we're making progress. Let's go. Little bit of snow wheel, little bit of slow wheeling in there. Got to attach it back here and pull again. Here we go. That'll be better. Almost home. All right, trailer is attached. Let's get the repair going. Service trailer on the Fleet Star. We have oh, we do have one thing broken. We'll fix that. Now let's get the Chevrolet. Bodywork is only available in the garage. I think we can fix everything, right? Repair. Boom! Truck is 100% back to normal except for all his bodywork. Most excellent. Let's give it a little bit of a ride here. Let's stop the engine on this one. Let's change trucks. Excellent. Let's get the Kodiak. Can we start her up? Out of fuel. Okay, but that, that's okay. That's not a problem. That should work. All right. So we want to get the fleet stuff. Now we guess we're going to figure out what we want to do. But we will leave that here for today. This has been quite the epic episode. Even though I think if we look at all that we did. Our trucks stopped. Yeah, I think all our trucks are stopped. If we look at all that we did, I don't think we get any experience, right? <laughs> we did all that work. <laughs> I don't think we made any money either. But... We burned a lot of gas. Yeah, because we were at the same experience. We only got that upgrade. That was the only thing we got done. I mean, we dropped off some bricks at the farm, which is an adventure. We got the beams out here. We do get the new truck going and stuff like that. But in terms of, I think going forward for the next episodes, I'll put a link to them as soon as they're ready. We're going to try to get uh, to at least level six, seven, and eight. We're going to concentrate on completing contracts and tasks. So we get uh, get to level eight, we get better tires for the Fleet Star. That's our next priority. See you in the next episode. I'll put a link as soon as it's ready. Tips, advice, and thoughts always welcome. Take care, everybody. Bye.